Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Great Beer Reviews today. This is the Pumpkin from Southern Tier re, re review of 2015. I reviewed this beer twice already, guys, and was not impressed either time. And every year people say, oh, it's better this year, it's better this year, it's better this year. To me, this beer has tasted like stale, buttery popcorn. Uh, I like their Warlock. Uh, version better than their pumpkin version but other people think this is the best thing since sliced bread uh, I'm hoping that this one's going to change my my thoughts so uh, if, if it does not this is probably going to be the last time you'll see a pumpkin review by this guy uh, I'll give it this is the third this is the third opportunity strike one strike two if this is strike three it's out of here so I'm hoping, I'm not, and I'm going to reserve judgment, I'm hoping it's going to blow my hair back and my socks off, guys. I really, really do. So, let's see where this one goes. Uh, uh, there is, uh, according to what uh, uh, Rake Beer's got here, they started doing this in 2007, and they've got it all the way up to 2014. This is a 2015, 2015 edition. I do not see that listed here. Uh, the label that Beer Advocates got is different than this one. They changed the labels. Uh, in 2014, they says here a new label design with orange, white, and green. And that's what this one's got. It's got a little green, green on the bottom of the label. Uh, 8.6 alcohol. Southern Tier Brewery, Lakewood, New York. Brewery with two varieties of hops and two types of mops. Uh, the mythical Celtic horse beast said to entice careless travelers onto its back and take them on a terrifying night ride through the forest, a journey from which they return forever changed. Pour pumpkin into a goblet and allow the spiced aromas and deep copper color to en entrance you. Taste the beer and you are bewitched, powerless to resent pumpkin. The beer is brewed with pagan spirit and it should be enjoyed responsibly. Uh, color deep copper, bitterness low, aroma pumpkin pie spices, vanilla, malty sweetness, pumpkin pie, and pie crust. So, uh, over to food pairings. It says general dessert meats poultry on this one, guys. Glass bar pint back in onic tumbler. I'm using the solid beer glass. Uh, all the goblets are packed away. Uh, not recommended for extended salary unless AD extends average range. Well, this one does, being an 8.6 percenter. Uh, I don't know what would fade over time if you wanted to sell her this. Uh, but we're not selling it. This is the brand new edition. This is a 2015 edition, I am sure of. And it's not too cold. Uh, it's only been in the fridge about 30 minutes. Wow, what a hiss on that. God. Wow. Big carbonation. About a finger and a half of head on that pour. Very clear. Very orange, a tangerine. Maybe a tad darker. Maybe to the pumpkin color. Yeah. Like the label. Nice orange color. And the head is dissipating pretty quickly. There are quite a few bubbles trimming up. Let's get a nose on it. <sighs> I'm getting that buttery taste, taste, smell. 
I have a nutmeg and a ginger and a cinnamon, all your typical pumpkin pie spices are there. Mmm. I don't know. Cheers, everybody. Happy Halloween. Not quite as buttery as it has been. Either that or it's growing on me, one or the other. After three attempts, maybe it's finally growing on me. This seems to be a tad better than what I've had the last two batches. It definitely got the buttery pumpkin-y taste. And it's got the nutmeg and the cinnamon and the ginger and the allspice and the cloves in there. I think it's more just it's just growing on me after three different attempts to finally uh, to finally get one that's uh, not quite like stale buttery popcorn, but this one still has that sweet buttery taste to me, but it's not overpowering like it has been. So maybe my palate is finally adjusting to this beer. Definitely more buttery than all the rest of the pumpkin beers I've ever had. So, I don't know exactly when this was produced. Uh, I'm not seeing a date on the bottle, but I know it's this year's edition. It's not on, I don't see it anywhere on the top unless I've got it down here on, on the bottom somewhere. We'll take another look when I come back, but... I'm probably going to give it a better grade than I have before because it doesn't seem to be quite as buttery as it has been and I don't, I'm not getting that stale popcorn taste but it is definitely different just like the one we did yesterday uh, the brewery beer it was definitely different and a more sour tart taste and less of the pumpkin spices where this one has more of the pumpkin spices, but it's got that, and, and depending on the pumpkins they've used, so uh, whether they're that butternut squash or something like that, sometimes that will lend a different taste, a more buttery taste, a more sweeter taste, a different taste than your typical pumpkin would, would give you. So, well, let me let her try it, have a sip or two, and we'll come back and uh, do the final chug and grade on this one, but uh, I think this is going to get a better grade than what the last two have got. I'll be right back. Hi right, guys, I'm back. I'm going to on about 30 minutes or so. Better than it has been. Uh, not quite as buttery. I'm not getting that pop stale popcorn taste. It is a little better. I will give them that. It's a little better this year than it has been. Uh, it's got all your pumpkin pie spices. And with that sweet buttery taste, I'm getting the, the pie crust. It's just better. It is better. I will agree. It is better. Uh, not either. My palate is more accepting to this style of beer with this sweet buttery taste. Or it's better. One or the other. I don't know. I do think it's got to the A category though, guys. I'm going to give it to 8, which is A minus. If I was spending a numeric rating on this, it would probably be a 90 or a 91, somewhere in that area. I don't think it's a 10 beer by far, but it is better than it has been. Uh, like I said earlier, I prefer the Warlock better than I do the Pumpkin, and I still do. But this is better than it has been. It's not quite as overpowering in that sweet stale buttery popcorn buttery taste but it's better than it has been so with that being said uh, I'm gonna give it to eight which is a minus over to bear advocate they say 90 in the outstanding range that's about where I put it 90 or 91 somewhere in that area 
and over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 97 overall and 99 in the style. Wouldn't quite go there, but there are many, many, many people that that agree with that and say, "Oh, it's the best pumpkin beer I've ever had. It's a uh, it's a nine, it's a ten, it's, it's whatever, it's eleven. But it's not quite there to me. Uh, but it is better. It is it is better than it has been. So I did enjoy this one, and I would buy this again. Uh, but I'm only interested in drinking this style of beer or this beer at this time of year, uh, somewhere to end of October, 1st of November, somewhere between the 1st of October and the end of November, somewhere, and that's when I'm interested in drinking the pumpkin beers. So, not interested in drinking them in January or February or in June or July. Uh, by then, uh, if June or July is too early for that style of beer, in, in my opinion. And after Thanksgiving has come, I'm more interested in the Christmas beers and the stouts and the darker beers. So, it was good. I enjoyed this one. So, that's what we got on this one, guys. If you've had this year's edition of the Pumpkin, the 2015 edition, let me know what you think. And I did enjoy I liked this one a little better than what I've had before. So, it's an improvement. So, we're going to get out of here. Come on back tomorrow. Let's see what's in the fridge. See you then.